Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, welcome to a new scoreboard of mine. Now, before we even start, please go check out utcoinsnow.co.uk. Their link will be down below in the description, and you can use the code MR5 to get that extra 5% F discount, so make sure you do that. And also, can we smash the like button on this video, get us to 100 likes, that would be brilliant if you could do so. And we've got a really nice 352 formation team for you today, and um, I paid around 25,000 coins for it, so it's definitely worth the coins which you're paying. In the goalkeeper position for this team, we've got Malafif. He's 78 rated with a 79 diving, the 75 handling, and the 76 position. Now, he wasn't an amazing keeper, but he wasn't actually that bad, to be fair. Um, he made some mistakes here and there, but other than that, he was actually quite a good keeper. He saved quite a lot of one-on-ones, and from close range, he saved quite a lot of shots, so that was good. Moving on to the centre-back position in this team, we've got Antonio Ferreira. I had to use a Brazilian centre-back from the Russian league, so I chose him. And he's got the 81 pace, the 67 heading and a 66 defending. And I paid 1,400 coins to a player with 81 pace. And um, he was actually a really good solid player. He's 6 foot 3 with a high attack and work rate and a medium defensive work rate. So he's got a quite an attacking trait with him and... Um, if you use his, him correctly in a team, then he's actually brilliant. He's got uh, like really good strength on him, so he won't get pushed off the ball easily as well. Next one, we've got Luis Nato. He's got 68 pace, 76 defending, and 78 heading. I paid just 400 coins for him, so he's really cheap, discard of value player. And um, he's not bad either. He's six foot two, so he's quite tall. Wins a few headers here and there, and he's also quite strong as well. So these two centre backs are absolutely brilliant. And then finally, in this last position, in a centre back position, we've got David Luiz, one of the most over overpower centre backs if not the best and most overpowered centre back in the game he's 82 rated he's such an atti attacking player as well as Antonio Ferreira and um, he's got the 77 pace the 72 dribbling and the 80 heading and uh, I paid 5,600 coins for him and he's definitely worth those coins he got me one goal and one assist in 20 games and we're moving on to some clips with this team and um, first off it's a great block off the line with from David Luiz uh, blocking David Luiz's header as well actually and um, another clip right here the ball gets played in and this is what I mean by close range shots it's a great save from Malafiv and it was actually Ibrahimovic who had that shot and it's a great save in the end um, I was a bit sl sloppy right here letting Sturridge get through but Antonio Ferreira with an amazing block to stop, stop him from scoring actually and um Another clip right here, um, Alexandra Pato, and this is a great save. Look at that, it's just going over his head right into the net, and it's an absolutely amazing save. And look at this for attacking positioning, like from Davo Luiz right here. He does score in the end, but just to be that far up the pitch with a centre-back isn't amazing, but... um. I, I wasn't too disappointed because I did score. But now we can move on to the midfield in this team. We've got um, five players in this midfield. So a cam, two CDMs and a, two wingers as well. And um, in a CDM position, I used Ramirez. He's 80 rated with the 88 pace and the 81 dribbling. I thought he tended to like pick up quite a few injuries because he's got the high work rates. And uh, I paid 4,000 coins. He's such a quick player. He's all over the pitch all over the all, all the time. And um, he's got the freestyle weak foot and a freestyle skill moves. And he's quite as small little dribbler of the ball. Next one we've got um, Fernando. He's quite a good strong midfielder actually to be fair. He's got the high defensive work rate and a medium attacking and he got me one goal and two assists in 10 games. I pay 700 coins for him. He's definitely worth those coins just above discard value and he's got the 71 dribbling and the 73 heading. I really liked his right foot. He's quite a powerful shot and um, I'd highly recommend a CDM like him in his team. We can now move on to the left mid in this team. We've got um, Jay Rodriguez. I didn't use his upgraded card because he's so expensive and so rare as well. But this card cost 5,500 coins a year alone. I don't think he's worth that many coins actually. And um, I did pay eight, um, like 5,500 for a player with 81 pace, 75 heading and 76 dribbling. Um, I mean, he has got a really good right foot and he's got the four-star weak foot as well. So you can shoot with his left as well. And he did get me one goal in 10 games, but he just didn't level up to the standards which you're paying for 5,500 coins coin player in the other side of the pitch we've got Hulk he's got the 86 pace and 83 dribbling and he got me one goal and four assists in 10 games and I mean he's definitely better in the right wing position and um, he is definitely better than Jay Rodriguez as well you pay around the same price for him and um, he's got the high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate and he's got one of the best left foots on the game as well as Iron Robin but 
just hulk. He's got the full star weak foot and his strength is absolutely amazing. Um, he is quite a good winger to be fair and his free kicks are really powerful as well. And in the camp position in this team, we've got Quintero, Juan Quintero, not Carlos. But um, Quintero's got 75 pace, 71 shooting and 84 dribbling. And um, he's quite a small little camp, but that's perfect for the camp position. And he got me three goals and four assists in 10 games. And I paid just above discard value for him as well. I really like the fact that he's got the four star weak foot and he's actually quite a good shooter of the ball and he's really quick as well um, we move on to some clips with this middle actually um, midfield and uh, Quintero just breaking away from the defence right there he does get the first shot but it's saved from the keeper and he picks up again and I got a bit lucky just to get that shot away but it's a nice accurate shot into the bottom corner now if you're enjoying this video so far please smash the like button on this video get us to 100 likes that'd be brilliant if you could do so and look at this from Lambert um, Ricky Lambert um, he does some really well to get the ball to Quintero right there and he finishes it into the bottom corner now we move on to the free kick right here. It's a really like, it's quite far out, and um, I'm currently losing this game. 57 minutes in, and it's a great cross into the box. And Holt's actually there to win the ball, and he puts it past the keeper with a nice header right there. And um, the ball gets played into Fernando right here. It's a bit of a bad ball into him, but he does really well with this. To be fair, he's just tricking in and out of the players, and the defenders can't even get onto him. And he gets a really nice goal right there, just to score. And um, the ball gets played through to Rodriguez and um, he just got the pace to get past the player right there. And this is a so-called overpowered finish in FIFA 13, which is the near post shot. And I did really well to get that, actually. And um, uh, look at that for a shot from Jay Rodriguez right there with his weak foot as well. And um, this is one of my best goals with the midfield, actually, to be fair. Ramirez just dancing in and out all of the players and he uses his weak foot to get that past the keeper right there and now we can move on to the two strikers in this team and now you've probably heard them already in this team we've got Ricky Lambert as the striker on the left hand side anyway and um, he's 76 rated and for that rating he is actually a really good striker he's quite a good aerial threat as well and he's got me 8 goals and 5 assists in 10 games which again isn't a bad stat for a striker and he's got the 77 shooting and 82 heading and his, his penalty stat is a really good stat and he deserves it he's got like 34 penalties in 34 for Southampton in real life and he's got the full star weak foot he can use his right and left but his finishing is so powerful and accurate as well and um, next to him we've got Jackson Martinez I did prefer him over Ricky Lambert but, but Jackson Martinez is a really good striker he's got the full star weak foot and the four star skimmers and he reminds me of Zlatan Ibrahimovic I mean Ibrahimovic hasn't got the well no Jackson Martinez hasn't got the five star skimmers but um, Jackson Martinez is still such a really powerful player and he's so quick on the ball as well we start off the clips with um, Fernando picking up the ball right here, plays it through to Lambert and it's just such a good touch to, in the first place to, just to put it down and it's a great finish in the end to be fair. Now um, these two strikers work really well together even though R Ricky Lambert's only got that 59 pace it still works really well because um, Martinez got the 81 or 82 pace but a really nice finish with his left foot right there from Jackson M Martinez and I've got a really nice go goal coming up in the attacking clips right here. I mean if you get into the box with these players you're always going to score because uh, Lambert and um, Martinez are so clinical inside the box and I really liked them. Um, Jackson Martinez and um, Ricky Lambert have got, both got really good strength, as you can see there. Um, Martinez just pushing off the players to get into the like, shooting position. And um, Quintero picks the ball up here. He plays it into Jackson Martinez, and his skill moves are just helpful all the time. And his finesse shot isn't bad either. A nice finish, to be fair. And um, Martinez's long shots are really good as well. He doesn't cost much. He's one of the most overpowered players on this game. And um, Martinez picking up the bicycle kick right there. And I really like this team. For 25k, it is really cheap and really efficient as well. You get a lot of goals with a team like this, with Ricky Lambert putting a really nice, powerful shot past the keeper. And um, the corners, we've got really tall players to win headers. Lambert winning the header right there and Jackson Martinez wins quite a few headers as well I mean he's a really good player and this is a goal of the, the goal of the squad for me and um, a really nice powerful swerving shot into the top corner from Jackson Martinez and I do believe the opponent quit shortly after that but it's a really nice goal from him there and another really nice goal there to be fair is a heel tap just past the defender completely does him up and we're coming up to the end of this squad builder now I definitely advise, you, advise using the squad I mean if you want to pay a few extra coins you could get the upgraded or even inform Jay Rodriguez but Jay Rodriguez is in form is like 400,000 coins or 300,000 coins so it's not worth that many coins but um, 
again, we're coming up to the last like clip right there. Jackson Martinez getting a really nice finish. And that is the end of this squad. So if you haven't already, please go check out UT Coins now. Use the code uh, MR5. And then we're finished. So please drop a like on this video. And um, thank you for watching and cheers. Have a nice day.